What's going on guys? Rob Kearney here with Kristen Graham and we are gonna go over arguably like the coolest strongman event that there is, um, but one that I'm usually not too good at, um, the keg toss. Um, when it comes down to it, who doesn't like throwing shit? Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw some things over a bar that today is about 15 feet high. Um, and there's a bunch of different ways to do this. So even if you don't have a keg, we're gonna show you how to do this and still train for it if you do have an event coming up that has a keg toss. Um, so what we did here is grab the kettlebell um, for Kristen because what that does is it emulates what a keg is gonna act like when you're throwing it, especially when we're looking at kegs in contests, when they're weighted, they're usually gonna have water or sand in the bottom of them. So using a kettlebell actually works out great because with the handle being higher, the weight is on the bottom. So you're gonna get kind of the same throwing technique as you would with a keg. So when we're looking at the throw, there's a couple of things that we wanna talk about and that's positioning from the bar. Um, something we were just talking about is whether you wanna stand close or stand far back. And to be honest, it's different for everybody. Personally, for me, I like to be a little bit closer um, because I feel that I'd rather work on getting the height throughout the throw as opposed to some people that stand farther and they really just try to launch that thing back to them as far as possible. So that's one thing you're gonna have to play around with in your throwing is where you're comfortable in standing in relation to the bar. Um, when you're doing this, the biggest thing you have to do is think about being as aggressive as possible with the throw. Um, I see a lot of people that get tentative or hesitant when they're going for their throw. Um, just really trust yourself and try to throw it as high as possible. So what I'm gonna have Kristen do is I'm just gonna have you do one throw and I'm gonna talk through it as you're doing it. Okay. So once she grabs it, you'll notice she's gonna do a couple of swings with it just to kind of get the momentum going, get the hips loosened up, and then she's gonna go ahead and release. Awesome. So when you go for the throw, the release point really has to be just you know as essentially before your arms reach full extension over the head you want to be letting go and kind of guiding the keg or the sandbag back over the bar um i see what happens is a lot of people they tend to sometimes release too early then you're just going to be throwing the keg or kettlebell straight up in the air or if you release too late then you're throwing it just directly behind you and you're not getting the height to go over the bar um so what we'll do have you grab that one more time I'll have her step out of the way and I'm going to just demonstrate it with the actual keg just to show what it looks like with the implement. The one thing that's different when throwing a kettlebell versus a keg like this is going to be your wrist action and what you have to do. Me only being 5'10 and not being that tall as some of the other guys in the competitions, um, what I tend to do is when I grab the keg and when I swing it through, I actually bend my wrists down because what that'll do is that'll make the bottom of the keg clear the ground. And in order to throw it, I get a little bit of an extra flick and momentum when throwing the keg. So just like Kristen, I'll get a couple of good warm-ups in and then releasing and throwing the keg up. So like I said, if you notice my wrists, I actually have to point them back a little bit to make sure the keg clears the ground. And then on the throw, rotating them nice and fast to get that height over the bar.